years of successful pilot schemes for the potential reform of the criminal justice system. The charitably funded initiative, the Chrysalis Foundation, will take a major step forward on Thursday the 14th of May 2009 with its official launch at the House of Lords. Hello, I'm David Aparicio and I'm the Managing Director and Creator of the Chrysalis Programme. To give you a bit of background, I am both a magistrate and for years I've worked as a leading learning and development expert within the Royal Mail. As a magistrate, I feel that quite often some of my sentences create more crime. So what I've tried to look at is how can we start impacting on reducing the level of reoffending. The key point of this is when you look at what's happening with crime, often it's generated through behaviours, values, attitude. And what we want to do is give people learning and development that addresses these key issues. What we've done is we've looked at how you address behaviours, attitude and performance within the corporate world and we've then wondered what if you took the same approach and applied it to the offender population. So we've looked at some of the programmes that have worked very successfully. Most corporate organisations spend millions, if not tens of millions each year, on programmes that give measurable and repeatable behavioural and attitudinal results. And we've then thought, if we could take those and work with those expert organisations and develop a programme that would be perfectly suitable for the offender population, what would be the impact? The programme has recently been accredited Edexcel's BTEC Level 2 qualification in work skills and consists of 12 modules. This is delivered over 12 months with support and mentoring throughout. We've been involved with Chrysalis now for probably about 12 months or so and we've been helping them with the development of the qualifications that are going to sit behind the program that they're taking into prisons to help young offenders. Well, We've been involved in helping David shape the qualification structure and the framework of work skills qualifications for MedXL that are going to allow the learning program that, that young offenders are going to take to actually engage with learning to come out of it with a qualification which helps them kind of come back into society and have a role and a place to play as they rejoin uh, from their period of custodial sentence. Chrysalis Foundation founder David Aparicio has collaborated with many senior officials from the criminal justice system and leaders from the business world to create the program. Yes, we're, we're specifically handling the Thinking Differently modules, which we believe is completely congruent with, the, with the, the, the work that we do. It can make a major contribution. We've so far completed a couple of pilots at uh, Reading, in fact, uh, which have been successful and have made a contribution at this stage. And we propose to support the project in a variety of other areas in line with, uh, with David's uh, needs. The, the Christie's Foundation has a real task to help change the attitude to offender treatment within government. I really believe we can change the whole world of offender development and rehabilitation if people understand what we're trying to do. Anything is possible and if you can change the beliefs of many of the young people in this country who are currently being wasted, if you can reduce the tax bill to the taxpayer and if you can bring about a much more stable society then I think this project is absolutely vital to the future.